this lesson, you will learn how to use the different ALM Octane modules for different type of projects. Let's assume you have a traditional project where you would like to implement the waterfall methodology, or you have a agile project where you want to implement the Scrum uh, development approach, or even a mix approach. Based on the methodology, you can freely decide which module to use. So basically, when you click on the home button in ALM Octane, you see all the modules which are available. It's completely up to you to decide which modules are visible for the mainstream users, so for the general end users who will be working in the ALM Octane projects. If you are working in traditional mode, you can decide yourself that you go with the requirements module only and with these modules if needed. Not everyone need to see the releases. However, this is up to you. If you are working in agile approach, you can say it's only backlog and team backlog for the main user. Um, if you don't have requirements but still want to work in a traditional mode, um, you can go with quality only. Um, and then based on different roles, you can also decide um, to combine additionally the pipelines module if test automation is involved for different user you can uh, make the modules available so these modules can be um, driven by the role module visibility so per role you can decide who's going to see what and uh, let me give you a short example so let's assume you come from uh, almqc where you were using the requirements module and doing the requirements based uh, testings um, using ALMQC, how would it look like in ALM Octane? So, for this, I have prepared something. So, this is what you should provide to the end user, to the tester who should uh, do the testing based on the different requirements. Yeah? So, in the requirements module, they can do the test uh, creation, test coverage, test execution based on releases as well as managing the regression testing suite. And also here in the issues module, they can manage the defects if needed uh, additionally. And um, the benefit of this uh, view for the mainstream user, especially the tester, is that he is not overloaded with all the modules. Uh, if we go back and if you would provide him this view, this will be overloading. Um, and he should be more focused in order to see exactly the data and the area especially um, with the approach which matters to him. So now let's assume this user or you are coming from an ALM QC project where you had no requirements but only test plan and test lab were used. How should it, should it look like for these kind of users? Then the view should look like this. You will have the quality module, which is which will combine the test plan and test lab uh, modules from ALMQC. You have no requirements module because you don't have any requirements structure in this case. And uh, you have the issues module to manage the defects uh, dashboard and my work. So this will be the view for the mainstream users um, who were using test plan and test lab in ALMQC or in general if you are having a project where you don't have requirements and neither you have any backlog uh, and you don't need to have it then you can build a project and provide to dedicated users or to mainstream users only the visibility of the quality module in order to really structure and manage test cases as well as do the test execution so this is the way uh, which is the best for the end user. So let's go back and assume we have now a project which is driven agile. So how should the view look like for, let's say, the mainstream user, the testers? So this is the view for an agile project where you could decide yourself if you need to show them the team backlog or the backlog module or hide one of those just in order to really let them focus on things. I think if you are uh, providing access to 
testers, um, they should focus in an agile project, maybe here, especially on the team backlog and do the testing based on the different backlog items, uh, which are uh, in the project and in the release, as well as in the sprints and do the coverage over there. And they don't need to have the quality module itself. Um, the quality module, the application modules can be maintained, yes. And on the test, the uh, uh, values can be selected, but there is no need to provide the visibility to the majority of users. At the end, you get the report and the results uh, back in dashboard, as long as you are managing on the test level the field application module. And this goes for all the different approaches uh, you would select for all the different views you would select um, in ALM Octane. Yeah, so even here, no quality module is there, but as long as you define the application module and maintain the field on the test level, you will be empowered to create the heat map and uh, benefit from the Octane analytic perspective. So it's completely up to you how you would like to structure based on the different capabilities and need your project may have. You can switch on and off the, pro the project modules or the Octane modules as you like. And um, this can be driven completely from the roles.